Hey, welcome to the Desert Brew. I'm here with Michael Arnone. Hi, how you doing, Gene? Also known as Big Mike. Yeah, that's me, that's me. Let's start out with the fact that you put together an art walk in this area. I did, I was here uh, two years ago, just over two years, by myself. Okay. A lot of empty spaces, it was middle of COVID and the commercial property was kind of very down, but it, I, I look how beautiful this place is. We have Talkwitz Canyon right here. Yes, The light yes. changes, it's beautiful most of the year. And I was like, I, I had a dream. You had a dream. The dream was to get other my artist friends who saw my space and said, hey, I want to do that too. Let me know when something opens up. And so now we're up to five galleries. Okay. This is actually the first time, first art walk that we had with all five galleries open at the same time. That's Cause, awesome. Because we had a couple getting up to speed, demoing and all that kind of thing. So what I want to say is everybody's got to come out and support your, obviously your artwork, but also what you put together for this art walk. Thank Second you. Saturday of every month. What I'm going to ask now that you give us a little tour. Sure, come on um, down. Yeah, come on we'll, down. We're, we're going to take a little tour of the art. And um, you also are featuring some other artists that we're going to take a look at today. I know, Samuel well. Fleming Lewis is being featured in my showcase salon on the side gallery over there. Awesome. So let's take a look. All right, I'm here with the amazing Samuel Fleming Lewis. My name's Lewis too, but no relation. And obviously I did not get the art gene. How long have you been doing this? Uh, since 2017, I've been working in this style. Wow. Um, I was trying to find myself because I worked in design for a really long time. I moved to Palm Springs in um, 2014. And with all the free time that I had after I stopped working in design, I still couldn't find myself. In general, I was trying to pick a variety of work from um, several years, the oldest being um, 2017. Okay. And then the newest was just like maybe a month, month and a half ago. Okay. I was also trying to get a cross session of different types of styles because this is my first gallery exhibit in Palm Springs. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, welcome not only to Palm Springs, but also to the heat, too. <laughs> So we just found another amazing artist here at the Art Walk made by Big Mike. And we're standing in Gamel Art with John Gamel. Hi, how are you doing? Great, so John, your pieces are absolutely stunning. They're very vivid colors. Even the frames themselves, are these custom frames? These are all custom framed. And I also have the inside of the frames that are also a custom color that goes with each individual art piece. Do you do a lot of art shows or is this more so sort of like just a showing here in, the, in your own studio? Um, I have, and especially since I moved here okay. to the Lost Arts District and Mike actually did a really good job at putting this on. Since I've been here, I've been doing um, the second Saturday, pretty much um, every single month that we've done it, um, which has actually been a really good experience. And it's allowed me to get a really good exposure. And I'm really, really happy and I'm very pleased to see that this center is expanding into an art destination for Palm Springs. We're here in this great... <laughs> see, we're trying new words other than amazing, but fantastic gallery run by our local artist, Tom. Tom, Burns. what is your last name? Burns. Burns, Tom Burns. I knew that. <laughs> you need to study. You knew that 10 seconds ago, Jim. No, I, I studied. <laughs> Anyways, we're here in this amazing gallery, and it's only been around for what, six months? Six months, I opened it in January. So where was it at before? Out of my garage. No, I love that, I love that, I love that. I, it, I worked in my garage for about five years, and um, as you know, in the desert, you can work in the garage for until about like 10 o'clock in the morning, and then it's done. How would you describe your style here? My style <laughs> is contemporary abstract. Mm, That's kind that. of all-encompassing. So, and I have lately, because I've been in the desert for, for six years now, kind of that mid-century vibe is kind of seeping. It creeps in, in right? It's, yeah, it starts it to creep in. It does. It does. All of a sudden, we're wearing like, yeah. It I happens. love it. So a lot of your pieces, it's like either they are stick within a theme or you can even tell, it's almost like they're done by another artist. How do you stay so, so diverse? Um, you know, it's it's me personally. Mm. I, you know, I have a short attention span and so I- You I, see that shiny I, object? I, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead. I, I, I get on this like 
great theme and I go with it, mm. and then as soon as I it, it just doesn't happen for me, I'm done. Okay. So I, I don't push it, I just move on to something else. <laughs> we love the pieces that you have in this gallery, and then you also showcase other artists' pieces as well, too. Yes, you do. So why, why that aspect? And, why and, and how do you choose the artists yeah, that you're showcasing? How do you choose the artists? That part is easy. They're friends, and I know them really well, uh, and I, I, I love their work. Um, and they're decent guys. Another stop at the Art Walk. Remember, second Saturday of every month, we are here with Patrick. Hello, yes. hi. This gives me a sense of like a Venice theme. Right on. Yeah. So, no, it's true. It's especially this work here, you know, it's yeah. kind of the vintage wind up toys. A lot of my influence in Venice yeah. was um, a lot of history, a lot of vintage feel. Um, the series or the pieces over there where there's more uh, a blow up uh, floaties, that sort of thing is because Big Mike, who lives lives next door, basically. Big Mike, who works next door, has his gallery next door, he had invited me down for a few uh, shared exhibits. Okay. And so I did a series specifically for that, that uh, was my first connotation of Palm Springs, was the pool culture. Yes. And um, of course, pool floaties are part of that kind of pop-esque-ness. Yes. <laughs> now we're gonna go up, because. Rashid has promised to buy the most expensive piece here. <laughs> and I thank you. <laughs> we'll see you guys real soon. <laughs> Not at the bank, though. <laughs>